Hey what's up guys, today I'll show you a horror film, Death Valley. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a bloodstained woman Chloe, running to the exit with her co-worker and a beardy man. The facility that they are in, starts the countdown for lockdown, so they quickly move. The beardy man nicknamed Mr. Beard, suddenly shoots the co-worker and Chloe, and leaves them locked up. Suddenly, they hear a monstrous growl, so although injured, they desperately go to the barricade's other side. However, only Chloe gets in the barricade, while her co-worker is stuck underneath, clinging onto Chloe. Shortly after, a mysterious monster drags away the co-worker, which leaves Chloe alone in the facility. Following that, Chloe records a distress message, saying that she is the sole survivor, and demands rescue within 24 hours. After that, Chloe removes the bullet in her leg, and cleans off the blood on her body. Then, she takes an axe to protect herself, and hides as the disgusting monster reveals itself. The scene then transitions to a man named James, in a video call with his pregnant wife. His wife notices that James is in gear, so James informs her that he accepted a special ops mission with his friend named Junior. James convinces his wife to do his last mission, as the money he will get will be enough for starting a family. After that, James and Junior leave with the rest of the team to save Chloe. While on the plane, James, Junior, and another female mercenary, discuss their plan. As it turns out, they cannot quickly enter the facility, because an angry militia is trying to invade it. So Junior suggests that they sneak in through the back door. James then tosses a device to Junior, containing an explanatory video about Chloe's distress call, and their way to the research facility. The facility is a bio-research laboratory at the most advanced development stage of unlocking humans' bioengineering. The compound is currently on lockdown, while a militia led by Mr. Beard is outside, trying to break in, which resulted in 12 casualties. Their mission is to rescue Chloe, save the research, and leave the facility undetected by the enemy militia. Mr. Beard has men in the forest searching for another way in. Then, the team is divided into two groups. Ms. Mercenary is in the Alpha team, while James and Junior are in the Bravo team with two other colleagues. While in the forest, James and Junior encounter one of Mr. Beard's men carrying a metal detector. The man quickly runs away upon seeing them, so Junior and James chase him. Fortunately, James' colleagues catch the man, before he can inform the militia. Instead of killing the man as instructed, James ties him to the tree, and leaves him alone in the forest. Meanwhile, the Alpha team gets inside the bunker, entering the facility. While they search for Chloe, the Alpha team encounters a strange man. The man turns around to them, and reveals his mutated state, with his teeth blackened, veins almost popping out of his bloody face. Suddenly, the mutated man attacks the Alpha team, so in return, they fire their guns. However, the mutated man is incredibly vigorous, which leaves them wounded. On the other hand, the Bravo team returns to the forest, and sees that Mr. Beard's man has freed himself, and he might have alerted the enemy militia. Shortly after, Mr. Beard's men fire at them. One of their colleagues gets killed during the gunfight, while the other one gets injured. After that, James re-encounters Mr. Beard's man, who saw them earlier, and this time, James ensures his death with a bullet through his head. After a few minutes, the gunfire ceases, which gives James and Junior time to escape, as Mr. Beard's men obviously outnumber them. Despite Junior's objection, James still treats their injured colleague's wounds, then hides him before leaving with Junior. After that, James witnesses one of Mr. Beard's men mourning over the guy he shot in the head. However, James also sees that their other colleague is still alive, which means Junior lied to him. The morning man sees James' colleague, and repeatedly shoots him in the head. Meanwhile, Mr. Beard's men are trying to find James and Junior with a K-9 dog, so Junior has no choice but to shoot. Even though outnumbered, James and Junior manage to kill a few of Mr. Beard's men, before jumping off a cliff and into the water. The strong water current drags James and Junior away, far enough from the militia. After that, James and Junior go to the meeting place to meet the Alpha Team, which however, are nowhere to be found. Junior insists on waiting for the Alpha Team and sticking to the plan, but James knows that it is just a matter of time, before Mr. Beard and his men find them again. So James leads the way, and they go inside a steep cave, where they find a hatch under the rocks. The two quickly remove the stones, and get inside the underground laboratory. Meanwhile, their injured colleague is captured by Mr. Beard and his men, and they threaten him to reveal where the other entrances are. Then, Mr. Beard presents the same disgusting monster, that killed and infected everyone in the laboratory. 
Mr. Beard informs the colleague that once the monster is out, it will kill everything, and the only way to stop it is to burn it. After that, Mr. Beard burns the monster. On the other hand, James and Junior wander the facility, where they see a bloodbath on the floor, with no traces of either bodies, guns, or bullets. After prepping their guns, the two start to search for Chloe. They get into a room where they see computer files and pictures of Chloe, and the monster as well. There is also a recorder on the desk, so James plays it. To their shock, the scientists in the laboratory were bioengineering human DNA with alien DNA. After hearing that, James compares the monster to the Nephilim, which is a group of mysterious beings with unusual size and strength, which live both before and after the legendary Bible flood. Suddenly, they hear a growl outside, so James cautiously looks out. Shortly after, James finally finds Chloe, who warns him that they need to be quiet, as the monsters are attracted to sound. However, it is too late as the monster finds them, and quickly attacks James. Fortunately, Chloe hits the monster with an axe. Just seconds later, Junior comes running, he sees the monster, so he immediately fires his gun towards it. James helps him shoot the monster, but the monster suddenly goes to the vent. After that, Chloe informs the two that more monsters are coming, and orders them to leave the facility as soon as possible. Chloe leads the way, but James finds out that Mr. Beard and his men are inside. They try to return, but the monster blocks their path. Left with no choice, the three go into the vent before the monster finds them. However, Junior accidentally plays the recorder. He quickly shuts it off, but it is too late. The monster discovers where they are hiding, and tries to attack them. Chloe and Junior crawl out of the vent, while James shoots the monster to release its grip on his foot, before he follows them. Junior aims his gun to the vent, waiting for the monster, but Chloe suddenly vomits. Later, Chloe informs them the laboratory's scientist extracted blood from a mysterious subject, which they called Subject N, to create a genetic hybrid named Adam. Then, James suggests they go down to find another entrance, but Chloe shares that the other entrance is the place she has been running away from, ever since the monster got loose. So James advises finding another tunnel that leads out. They need to find the Alpha Team, and leave the facility altogether. This time, James leads the way, as he has the map. While James tries to open the vent, Junior interrogates Chloe. Chloe shares that Adam was the first successful hybrid created 30 years ago, and the scientists locked him up in the facility, as he became unstable from their experiment's effects. Adam gets fed up with the science experiment, so he snapped. James finally opens the vent a few minutes later, so they prepare to get in. However, one of Mr. Beard's men stops them. James and Junior warn the man to keep his voice down, but he refuses to listen, which leads the monster to kill him. The three quickly get inside the vent, and while they crawl, Chloe continues Adam's story. She says that Mr. Beard was assigned to guard Adam. However, Mr. Beard killed Adam, and set the other experimental monsters on the loose. Seconds later, they get out of the vent, so they continue to look for passageways, with James leading the way. After entering a couple of hatches, the group finally reunites with the Alpha team. However, they see that only Ms. Mercenary survived the attack, but she's fatally wounded. Chloe sees Mr. Beard's men in the CCTV cameras, so she informs the others about it. Junior tries to take Ms. Mercenary with them, but Chloe stops him as she sees Ms. Mercenary is infected. Chloe tells them that there is no antidote or medicine that will stop Ms. Mercenary's transformation into a monster. However, Junior refuses to leave Ms. Mercenary behind as he loves her, Chloe sees the desperation in Junior's eyes, so she tells Junior to go to the medical ward down the hall, and find a stretcher to carry Ms. Mercenary out with them. Junior immediately leaves to get the stretcher, and Chloe volunteers herself to be left with Ms. Mercenary, while James goes to find the next hatch. However, as soon as the guys are out of sight, Chloe shoots Ms. Mercenary in the head, causing a quick death. The guys hear the loud gunshot, so they quickly return. James understands Chloe's intention, but Ms. Mercenary's death greatly upsets Junior. Junior's irrationality gets the best of him, and he threatens to kill Chloe, making loud noises as he does so. As expected, they hear the monster's growl, and just seconds later, the monster reveals itself. James and Junior quickly fire their weapon at it, but it remains unaffected. They run out of bullets, so James promptly runs away with Chloe, and they hide in a room. Meanwhile, Junior hides in a morgue. Defenseless, Junior hides in one of the freezers, where he lays down with a corpse. James notices that Junior is not with him, so he tries to contact him through the radio, but he doesn't answer back. Then, Chloe sees an employee that turned into a monster, so she quickly kills it, by repeatedly stabbing it in the head using James's knife. 
Meanwhile, the other monster still hears them and tries to break, so Chloe and James guard the door. James calls for Junior's help, but Junior is stuck in the freezer. While Junior attempts to open the door, the corpse suddenly returns to life as a monster, and bites him in the arm. Junior repeatedly stabs the corpse in the head, killing it. Shortly after, Mr. Beard's men open the freezer door, and capture Junior. Meanwhile, the monster suddenly stops barging in, and leaves Chloe and James confused. Then, they hear Mr. Beard's men's voices through the vent. James uses the tape recorder to trick Mr. Beard's men, before he and Chloe attack them. Chloe displays a surprising skill in using the knife, which befuddles James. But James dismisses his suspicion, and prepares to look for Junior. Chloe informs him that once Mr. Beard gets the research, he will use it as a weapon, that will kill them all. Even though James does not want to leave Junior behind, he knows that Chloe is right. On the other hand, Junior is restrained to a table with one of Mr. Beard's men watching him, as the infection starts to have painful effects on his body. Suddenly, Junior gets a vision, a short flashback shows that Chloe is actually Adam, who is the first genetic hybrid, held captive for decades, but meanwhile gifted with the power to resist aging. She killed all the scientists, and released the monster as a diversion, while attempting to escape the facility. But Mr. Beard stopped her and locked her inside. Meanwhile, James and Chloe go to a room, that Chloe claims to be Adam's. There, they found the Alpha Team leader bathing in his own blood. Then, James tries to contact Junior, but Junior cannot hear him. Mr. Beard's man tries to kill Junior, but the monster suddenly attacks and kills him. Meanwhile, James gets the Alpha Team's phone, and instructs Chloe to follow the tunnel in front of them up to the top. He says that once Chloe reaches the surface, she will press a button that will alert James's team outside, and help her get out of the place. After instructing Chloe, James prepares to leave to find Junior. Later, he sees a crib in the corner, and starts doubting Chloe. He then confronts Chloe about Adam's story. Since they met, Chloe has been puking, and James knows it's one of the pregnancy symptoms, as his wife is also pregnant. It is revealed that Chloe orchestrated everything to escape and live outside the real world with her unborn child. After learning the truth, James realizes that he must never let Chloe leave the facility, as her blood is dangerous. Meanwhile, the monster leaves Junior after killing Mr. Beard's man. Junior quickly frees himself from the straps. Simultaneously, the monster comes into the room to attack James, while Chloe watches them. Defenseless, James cannot do anything, but luckily, Junior comes in to help him. Junior aims his gun at Chloe, and threatens to kill her to force the monster to release James. Chloe tries to intimidate Junior, but he remains unfazed and shoots Chloe. However, the monster, who turns out to be Chloe's partner, blocks the bullet, allowing Chloe to leave. But right then, James sees the flamethrower, and uses it to burn the monster to death. Meanwhile, Chloe finally escapes her prison, but Mr. Beard is waiting for her outside. Mr. Beard aims his gun at Chloe, but he cannot pull the trigger for some reason. Chloe apologizes for hurting Mr. Beard previously, so he puts down the gun, and Chloe hugs him. However, Chloe suddenly pulls out Mr. Beard's knife, and stabs him. Mr. Beard stabs Chloe back in retaliation, and both of them fall onto the forest floor. Shortly after, James and Junior follow Chloe outside, and they see her unconscious. They come towards her to check if she is dead, but Chloe suddenly attacks them with a the knife. The guys attempt to fight back at Chloe, but she displays exceptional fighting skills that dominate them. James uses a rope to suffocate Chloe, but she still gets free, and tries to kill James. Junior sees this, so he wraps the rope around his body, and lets himself fall onto the escape hatch, dragging Chloe with him. Chloe tries to loosen the rope, but Junior grips on it tightly, which eventually kills Chloe. After that, James gets inside the escape hatch, to help Junior get out, but Junior refuses, as he knows he will be mutated into a monster just a matter of time. Junior accepts his fate, and bids goodbye to James. After that, James gets out the hatch and calls his wife. But before he can say a word, he collapses. Several hours later, the extraction team arrives at the compound. They find James lying on the ground. But before they can help him, James mutates into a monster. James attacks them and infects all of them too. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.